Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea of inverse of a matrix. Well, if you have a square matrix n times n, um, matrix A is said invertible or non-singular if there exists another matrix, um, square matrix B here, such that when you multiply these two matrices together, A and B, either in this order or in this order, B times A, the result of that is going to be an identity matrix with the same size of order N, okay? The same size as uh, what you have seen for matrix A and matrix B. Therefore, uh, in this situation, we can call matrix B as the inverse of A. And um, if, let's say, you have a matrix that doesn't have an inverse, then that particular matrix is called non-invertible or singular. Okay. So, uh, something that you have to note is that not all square matrix have an inverse. And uh, another one is, if you talk about the non-square matrices, they do not have inverses. Okay. Right, uh, let's look at a simple example to illustrate the idea of inverse of a matrix. Here we have matrix A defined as such. And there is another matrix, A prime, uh, defined as such. And the question is asking you to demonstrate that A prime is the inverse of A. And again, if you want to demonstrate that one is inverse of another matrix, what you need to do is you need to consider multiplying the two matrices together and see whether the result uh, give you an identity matrix of the same size. N, okay um, of course you can do it either this way or the other way a times b or b times a and therefore if we look at this example here that's what we're going to do we're going to multiply the matrices so we can do either a times with a prime and maybe later on I'll show uh, the other way of multiplying a prime with a mm. So for this one here, A times A prime, we have this matrix, 2, 5, 1, 3. And we're going to multiply that with 3, negative 5, negative 1, and 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus negative 5. So 6 plus negative 5 is equal to 1. Negative 10 negative 10 plus 10 so this is 0 the result here is 0 3 plus negative 3 so this is 0 and here is negative 5 uh, plus 6 so the result here is 1 so we get an identity matrix of a 2 by 2 which is okay so this is the inverse of this and like i said just now there is another way of showing that matrix a prime is the inverse of a and the other way of showing it is if you multiply a prime a uh, you should be able to get an identity matrix as well so let us just try to switch the position of those matrices mm, here we have um three hang on 3, negative 5, negative 1, and 2. And we have matrix A as 2, 5, 1, and 3. Okay. Right, so 3 times 2, 6, plus negative 5 is 1. 3, 15 minus, oh sorry, 3, uh, 5, 15, plus negative 15 is 0, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, negative 5 plus 6 is 1. 
so either way either a prime a or a times a prime you should be able to get that uh, matrix identity if uh, if so then we can say that a prime is the inverse of a okay um, uniqueness of inverse matrix well if a is invertible matrix then its inverse is unique it means there is only one uh, particular solution the answer is unique all right and therefore the inverse of a is denoted by this notation so this notation usually uh, representing the inverse of a matrix now uh, matrix A will have an inverse if and only if its determinant is not zero. So uh, that is one thing that you should uh, pay attention to. If the determinant is not zero, then you will have an inverse of matrix A. And uh, matrix A will have an inverse if and only if its row equivalent to uh, the identity matrix. So this is basically saying that if you do uh, some elementary row operations and if you're able to reduce it to identity matrix, then it is an indication that the matrix here will have an inverse. Well, as an example, here is matrix A and B and we're going to determine whether these two matrices are invertible or not. So again, there are two ways to determine it. The first one is we can think about it uh, by checking the value of the determinant. And the second one is uh, to see whether it is a row equivalent to the identity matrix. So for this question here, we're going to start off with uh, finding the de determinant of these two matrices. Okay, so determinant of A is... Um, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And in this case, uh, the result here is 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. So, since the determinant of A is not 0, we can conclude that A is invertible. Or you can find the inverse of matrix A. Now for B, um, determinant of B is finding the result of this four matrix here, four numbers in this matrix here. So here is negative 60 minus, this is also negative 60, and therefore the result here is zero. So what we can conclude is since the determinant of B is 0, then B is non-invertible. So B is non-invertible. Okay, so we are basically um, looking at this process here to determine whether that particular matrix have an inverse or not. So that's the first way of um, determining whether they are invertible. Now let's move on to the second way of showing whether these two matrices are invertible or not. And that involves, I'm just going to erase the sink. So that involves um, showing that uh, it is a row equivalent to the identity matrix. So what it means by that is, well, um, we have this matrix here so let's see uh, matrix A A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and we're just going to do uh, a little operation elementary row operations to make sure that we are able to reduce it to an identity matrix so here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. To be an identity, again, this part here has to be 0. So we are going to do that. I'm going to transform the second row. R2 plus negative 3 R1. 
and here I'm going to have 1 and 2 so 3 plus negative 3 is 0 4 minus 6 is negative 2 next um, this part here has to be equal to 1 negative 1 over 2 times with row 2 so I get 1 2 uh, this is 0 and this is going to be 1 uh, next this part has to be 0 so what we can do is we can transform this using so R1 plus negative 2 R2 and here I have 1 plus 0 this is 1 2 plus negative 2 um, this is 0 and here we have an identity matrix therefore uh, we can say that this matrix here is invertible so here we can conclude because of this reason because of us able to show that it is row equivalent to identity matrix then we can conclude that A is inver invertible okay so for B so we need to do some elementary row operations so this is matrix B 12 negative 15 4 and negative 5 so in order to try and reduce it to identity matrix we know that this part here has to be 1 so I can try and do 1 over 12 row 1 and um, here I will be able to get 1 negative 15 over 12 this is 4 and negative 5 uh, hang on <laughs> Right, um, let us continue. So, um, so this part here can be simplified to just negative um, 5 over 4. Okay, so I'm just going to consider that to be negative 5 over 4. Okay. So, um, Next, what I can do is I can try and make sure this part here is 0. So, um, I will have row 2 plus negative 4 with row 1. So, 1 is maintained. The first row is maintained as such. Now, the second row it becomes 4 plus negative 4 is 0. Now, negative 5 plus so here it becomes positive 5 yeah mm, negative 4 times negative 5 over 4 is going to be positive 5 so negative 5 plus positive 5 is 0 and um, this is the simplest form and it cannot be any more simplified and therefore you can see clearly that this is not an identity matrix and because of that we can um, conclude that this matrix here is non-invertible okay all right uh, now provided that a is invertible provided that we know that a particular matrix is invertible therefore um, we can uh, come up with the value of that matrix so the inverse of a matrix can be obtained using this formula so how can we find the inverse of matrix a is just uh, this one here you consider this part where ad minus bc so this is by crossing ad minus bc so that, that is finding the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix and uh, this part here is a matrix where you switch the position of D and A. So D is on the top, A is at the bottom. 
and then for these two values here you just uh, consider having uh, negative signs next to it so this is the formula to find the inverse of a matrix where that matrix is a simple case of 2 by 2 matrix now if you have ad minus bc is equal to 0 that means the determinant is 0 then a is not invertible like what you have seen here so if um, determinant is not zero then only you have an inverse but if the determinant is zero you will not have an inverse because that determinant is used on this part so one over zero uh, cannot yield a result yes so again uh, let me just reiterate um, this is the formula that you should be using when you want to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix okay so as a simple example here let's consider finding the inverse of this matrix so we have already shown that this matrix is invertible so this is the same matrix that you have seen uh, right here right there therefore uh, let us continue go ahead and find the inverse of that particular matrix a the inverse of matrix a is according to the formula is just a d minus b c this is um, d a negative b negative c so this is the formula and let me just tell you this is a this is b and this is c and this is d so a d minus b c um, well uh, what we have here is next 1 over so a times d is 4 minus b times c is 6 so that is a d minus b c and then we switch the position d will be at the top a will be at the bottom so here we, we will have 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 right there will be given a negative sign next to it. So we have negative 2 and negative 3. So this becomes 1 over negative 2. Uh, 4, negative 2, negative 3 and 1. And that can be further simplified as um, this is negative 2. One, 4 times negative half is negative 2. This becomes positive 1. This becomes um, 3 over 2. And this is negative 1 over 2. So this is the inverse of matrix A. Okay, uh, I think that's all for now. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about finding the inverse of a matrix where, where that matrix is is larger than a 2 by 2 okay so I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching